The Rad Pack has put together a community challenge, nine movies, the Rad Nine of films you watched over and over and over, washed, rinsed, and repeat as a kid. So I'm definitely going to put out a video right now for you guys of nine films that I watched over and over. All I can say is hell yes and thank you to the Rad Pack. So let's get started. Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jason and welcome back to Backtrack Cinema. So the Rad Pack put together a community challenge of nine films you watched over and over and over again. Presumably as a kid, but I guess it doesn't really matter. But I got nine films that I picked. Uh, I picked films that are kind of in my VHS collection because I like to show off VHS. Nine great films that I watched so much as a kid. So this is a great community challenge. I'm going to post all their YouTube channels below. I know Mel the most from my Kevin podcast. I don't know the other two yet uh, as well, but I'm going to post all their uh, their channels too, like Born to be Rad and, and all that jazz. And we're just going to get right into it here, guys, because this is, I had to hop on this. This is such a great topic of movies you've watched so much as a kid. Like I, I thought about doing something, you know, uh, tapes I wore out. Kind of the same idea that you just watched so much. These are no in particular order of how I like them. That'd be a completely different ranking. This could be random. Let's start off with Jason Lives. Um, oh my God. My first horror movie I ever watched. Absolutely loved this film. I love the old monster movie feel. You know, if you could watch it in black and white, that would be awesome too. Jason coming out of the grave. This first horror movie I ever watched with my mom. My mom is my horror side. My dad is my sci-fi and Western side. And my uncles are my action side. So I'm a combination of a lot of things. But I just absolutely love Jason Lives. and Love Alice Cooper. Love the score. Love the rock music going on. The cinematography is just beautiful. But I, I have just um, loved this movie ever since I was just a little boy. Just love it, love it, love it. Next up is aliens oh my god ripley newt hicks hudson Va vasquez so many great characters and characters who really unite at the end of this movie and just go out dying like soldiers it's awesome man the practical effects james cameron's directing sigourney weaver as ripley man i mean oscar nominated performance um, the arc she goes on, the PTSD this woman has, and she's just the fucking badass in this. The end of that film where she's standing off against the Mother Queen, and she's got Newt, and you know she's she's threatening the the torch, all the fucking eggs, and the and the aliens back up. Then the Queen opens one of the eggs, one of the eggs opens, and Ripley just goes, "You fucking bitch!" It's all in her performance, man. Awesome, love me aliens. Oh my god, First Blood, I absolutely love first blood first blood next to another one we're going to talk about this is my favorite stallone film man man this movie's like a real awesome character study of the soldiers coming home you know and what these soldiers went through and it also has something to say about bullying really you know when the when the police station all the cops bully rambo and the tension just amps up and amps up and the action's great and stallone's performance it's just one of the best he's ever done for sure. Absolutely awesome flick. And it means a lot to me personally, because if I was getting picked on at school, I would come home, watch this literally every day and it would channel that anger through this movie. And then it's almost like this piece came over to me at the end and I was okay. I mean, I wasn't mad anymore. I wasn't ramped up, uh, man. Talk about a, a life changing fucking movie beautiful movie next up is dun 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 the thing john carpenter's masterpiece if you ask me still the greatest practical effects ever kurt russell another one of my favorites you know the beginning when he's playing that chess game with the computer and he's like freaking cheating bitch and throws his ice at the fucking I love this movie. So much paranoia, so much tension. The score and everything around this movie is just awesome, man. One I like to pop pop on in the winter, absolutely, when it's really cold here. Great one to watch to really build up that atmosphere. Next one I got is The Terminator, man. Oh, man, I love The Terminator. Such a great VHS watch, too, guys. Get a VHS player, get a tube TV, watch it on VHS. This 
is awesome man this is a game changer movie man you know about this war in the future that gets fought in the past you know a terminator coming back a soldier coming back to kill the unborn child of the leader of the resistance john connor by killing his mother before he's even conceived and what's so great about it it's a love story it's a love story masked as a horror action sci-fi and then it all comes into the end there when we find out the soldier that gets sent back is actually there to ensure John Connor's existence. And it's awesome. I mean, every beat of this fucking film is just absolutely amazing. I absolutely love Terminator. So more Arnold Commando. I mean, you can't go wrong with Commando. Commando is just over the top, cheesy 80s action fun. Bill Duke in it. Arnold, you know, such a great time. I forget the main bad guy's name. Vernon Wells. It's I think it's Vernon Wells. I think. Um, my mind's just all over the place right now, guys. Too much recording. Too much recording, but so much fun commando. You know, great Father's Day movie, you know, father and daughter stuff. And uh loads of comedy in it too. That's just so funny. Love it. I love commando. Had the poster of this movie in my room for years when I was a kid. So I love Commando. My personal favorite Indiana Jones film, Indiana Jones and a Temple of Doom. I absolutely love this flick. I like the darker tone it goes for, and it really is the best thrill ride out of the whole series, I find. I find the action that this awesome in this. And like I said, with the dark tones, I, I, I think this is the best villain. We we get a villain who you kind of remember and he's just creepy and the voodoo stuff is all creepy to me. And I just love this film so much. I used to go through the storybook as I watched the movie. I had the storybook and everything like that. The score is awesome. Having short round in there, this made you like Indy even more because he had carrying this little kid around with him. Who's, who's uh, he's protecting him in a way, got him off the streets and, you know, did something for the kids. So I I love Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. My favorite film of all time, Rocky. Oh, man, look at And I love this jacket. That is the one I love. I love it, man, with Adrian just cuddling into him. Big black eye there. Oh, man, this movie means so much to me. Another life-changing movie, man. My favorite movie of all time. My favorite Stallone movie. My favorite movie character of all time. Probably my favorite score of all time. I mean, God. Just this character is so lovable and likable, you know, and just you can resonate with this character so much because he's just a regular guy, a washed out boxer who gets a shot at the title and does everything he can to go to distance. Just to show people that he's not a bum, that he's something that we all have something in us to give. And it's just so heartwarming. It's an amazing film. I love Rocky. I used to carry this in my backpack to school. Why? Because I was afraid I would lose it. I love this movie that much. With Rambo, it was about getting rid of the anger. With this, it was like hanging out with my best friend every time I watch it. And it's still like that to this day. All heart, man. All heart. Last but not least, The Empire Strikes Back. I, I, could, I can remember as a really young child getting my mom to put this on in our VCR three times a day, I kid you not. Every time I'd go outside and play and come back, Empire Strikes Back goes back on. Empire Strikes Back goes back on. And just so many great characters with so many great moments. It's equal screen time through the whole thing. Great romantic and sexual tension between Han and Leia. The character arc Luke goes on and, you know, that badass twist that no one saw coming before twists were even a thing, I guess. And Vader is just badass in this you know he's just sitting there you have failed me for the last time admiral absolutely love empire strikes back love it love it love it well thank you to the rad pack that was such a great challenge those are nine movies that i absolutely love and i still watch all the time to this day absolutely love them they're some of my favorite movies of all time too but definitely go check out all their channels um my killer podcast born to be rad the rad pack i'll post them all in the links below and obviously you know i'll, I'll tag born to be rad i'll tag the rad pack i'll tag mel from my killer podcast she is awesome definitely check out her channel 
because she's the one I'm most familiar with. And yeah, if you're new to this channel, Backtrack Cinema, I talk movies from the past, mostly the 70s, 80s, 90s, and the action and horror genre. And I would love to have you to subscribe to the channel if you think this channel is a good fit for you and you like the content definitely uh check out the channel and I i'd love to have you i'd love to see you in the comments and uh i talked movies here man and it's a lot of fun i will see you next time my name is jason you're watching backtrack cinema and i'll see you in the movies cheers